Jeff Peskin um, from New York, and I have a question for you. It's really more of an observation in that you've written about when you look at acquiring a business, you, you look at a lot at, at how they allocate capital. And my question is, w once you acquire a stake in a company, um, do you find that um, just by the fact that you are helping doing the allocation of capital and doing the compensation, that that alone makes a company have a, a lot higher return? Or is there some benefit by the fact that you own or some, some major shareholder owns a big slug of the company that also allows a company to increase its return on capital? Yeah, well, that's a good question. The answer is sort of some of the time, some of the places. It's just the, uh, there's no question in a business that earns a high rate on capital that doesn't have natural ways to employ that money within the business that we actually may contribute significantly to the long-term results of that business by taking the capital out because uh, if they don't have a place to use it, nevertheless, they might well use it someplace. And we, we have the whole universe to spread that money over. So we can take the money that's earned in some operating business and, and we can buy part of the Coca-Cola company with it and buy into another wonderful business, whereas very few managements probably would do that. So there's an advantage there. Now, on the other hand, Hellsburg's, for example, is, will probably grow very substantially. They'll probably use all the capital they generate. Maybe they'll even use more. Well, they don't really need us for that. I mean, they would have done that under any circumstances. We may actually give them the ability to grow even a little faster because if a company, and this is not the, these are not the Hellsburg's figures, but if a company is earning 20% on equity but can grow 25% a year, you know, they're going to feel equity strains at some point, and we, we are... We obviously would love the idea of supplying extra capital that would earn 20% on equity. So there can be some advantage to having us as a parent in terms of sending capital to the business as well as taking capital from the business. We also, I think, can be helpful in some situations in that once we are there, a lot of the rituals, of, particularly in a public company, but a lot, a lot of the things that people waste time doing in business they don't have to do with us. I mean, they, they're, they're an awful lot of time spent in some businesses just preparing for committee meetings and directors meetings and all kinds of things like that, show and tell stuff. And none of that's needed with us. We won't go near them. And so we, we really free them up to spend 100% of the time thinking about what is good for the business over time. If they have extra money, they don't have to worry about what to do with it. If they need extra money for a good business, it'll be supplied. So there, there are some advantages that way.